In this example, we'll try and create an infographic that displays the gender population inside of a circle. So let's start by crea creating a background like this, add a circle and remove the background and add a border like this 0 0.03. Let's decrease the size a little bit like this and let's change the color to something like a gray. Now let's add a background connect this one to the background and bring the background like this and change the color of the background to white and now let's start animating so let's go to frames okay before that let's add the mask paint first so create a mask paint and connect it to the first ellipse and go to mask paint click on polyline stroke and draw a circle around the the circle the first circle like this after you finish go to the ellipse go to the paint mode and change it from merge to multiply and this will multiply both of the masks now go to mask paint and increase the brush size like this and if you go to the stroke control you can see that we now we can animate let's decrease the softness and let's bring this one here so we start from the middle like this and this looks good now let's start animating go to the mask paint go to frame 10 maybe let's go here right click click animate and go back to frame 0 and bring it down to 0 and this is what we have so far we have a circle now let's copy all of this, Control C, Control V, and merge it with the first one, change the color to something like yellow, and let's change the animation. So go simply to keyframe, keep the animation, click on here and click on show only selected tools so we can work only with this node, open it and move the entire keyframes like this. Now go to the second keyframe and go to paint select the keyframe so we have the and change the end from 1 to 0 0.58 so we want it to end here so this is what we have we have the first circle and the second one that represent the percentage now let's add some text so we can understand what this means so click on uh, text plus node connect your text plus here and go to the text and type in gender or, or let's just type in world population like this change the color so it matches the circle here and go and let's decrease the size like this now let's add the text so another text so connects your second text to the first one bring it here and let's type in woman 58 percent like this and bring it here change the color to be something like this then let's type in men forty two percent and this looks good now let's change the color of the men and the percentage so simply right click click on character level styling select this one okay select the text first and select all of this go to the modifier go to the color here and let's pick this color so we have a representation here and this is what we have so far now let's animate our text if you want it to uh, appear from the left or the right or something like that you can add uh, or, sorry you can add a mask like this let's go to the text and change now we want this to appear right here to appear starting from here so let's go to the text 
go to the second tab right click on center animate go to frame 30 maybe and right click and click set key and let's go back to the frame to 20 and bring this like here and this is what we have so far you can see that we have the text world population appears first then we have the full circle and we have the second one that represents the woman percentage and while the rest will represent the man percentage after that we have the text appear with the data written so this is how you create a simple infographic and if you want to for the world population to appear when the first circle end you can go to here to the frame 10 go to keyframe and make sure to click on select only tools to uh, select show only selected tools and this will display the node that you're clicking on and bring this one to frame 10 so nothing will nothing happen here until the full circle complete then the text will appear you can see when the circle complete world population appears now you can go to spline editor go to every curve here and change it change it with is in and is out so let's go to the second one Control a to select all press s to add is in and is out and same thing for the text Control a s to is in and is out and finally connect your last node to the media out and if we go to the edit page we can preview what we've created so this is how you create a simple info 